Hi, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. Before I get into it, I want to talk really quickly about Triple Sleeve TCG. Triple Sleeve TCG is a website where you can go and purchase case splits, booster boxes, and nation splits depending on what nation you guys want to pick up. In these splits, you guys can get full playsets of any card that you need. Triple R's, rares, double R's, you guys name it, you can get your playsets. Please go ahead and check them out at triplesleevetcg.com. Hi, welcome back to another video. I'm Richard and today I'm going to be unboxing the Fourth start deck, Megami Okura, with the themed Sylvan King deck. This is for, I'm forgetting the name, Stoicaea, Stoicaea, Stoicaea. I remembered it right before I saw the name. So Stoicaea is like the uh, the new Neo Nectar, Great Nature, but also Grand Blue um, Aqua Force hybrid theme. So that's we got a lot of like dark blues and greens going on in this box here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna crack this boy open and we're gonna see what's inside of it. Arr. Cool, so. I've already opened two of these bad boys, so I kinda got an idea what's gonna be in here too. Uh, all the contents are gonna be listed on the back of all the cards. Um, so you guys already got a heads up of what you're gonna be getting in here. But it's always nice to know and see what these cards do. So every trial deck so far and for the Overdress series comes with these play mats. So if you want to play with a friend or you're new to the game, you'll get an idea where the zones are. Deck, drop zone, ride deck is gonna kind of slip off to the side here, which is fine. Trigger check zone, so you just put your triggers there or you don't have to reveal it if you want. We have the order zone, so whenever you play an order card, you can just play it here for the designated zone of where you want to play it. Some orders are set orders, meaning they stay on the board, so you just play them here. But other than that, I feel like you can just kind of reveal it to your opponent. Damage zone, one through six. And yeah, and then this little QR code in the corner here, I'll flip it over. That's where you would scan it if you want to kind of like know what the rules are to the game, because this did not come with a rule book. And I feel like that's kind of more on like making the start deck cheaper and more affordable. So there's less paper, less things to package. So that way you don't have to really worry about that kind of stuff. And I feel like most people don't even read the rule books. Like, let's all be honest. No one really read through that rule, rule book and took it comprehensively. So I think it's a good idea that Bushy put little QR codes on there for people to kind of go about and read it on their own time. But for now, let's jump right into the start deck. A little slide a little plastic piece over. Starting off, so the right deck chain usually goes first, so I'm gonna get that out of the way. The first is our main grade three boss, which is Sylvan Horned Beast King Magnolia. Uh, it's Vanguard Auto skill is at the end of the battle that it attacked. Can boss one, choose one of your rear guards and until the end of the turn, that unit can, at can attack from the back row and it gets 5k. If you Persona Road to this turn, you choose three rear guards instead of one. So my, from my memory, I believe Magnolia is the only grade three start deck card that actually has the Persona Ride as a key thing in the deck. So Persona Ride, if it wasn't explained, because I probably I didn't explain it in the other two start deck videos, is this little symbol in the corner. What Persona Ride means is that when you ride a grade three with the Persona symbol and you ride this exact same one on top of it, your front row gets 10K. So that's pretty cool as a basic thing. You can just ride, get 10K, but the other two start decks that I have opened so far, which are the Dragon Empire and the Keter Sanctuary one, do not specify anything about Persona Ride in the card text, so I didn't really go over it. Um, but in this case, because it does mention it, you know, I figured I'd talk about it. So in this case, if you Persona Ride, you're riding Magnolia on top of another one from your hand, your whole front row gets 10K, and then according to this, when it attacks, you choose three of your back row units and they can attack from the back row and they get 5K. So your whole board is getting a huge power bonus just from Persona Riding, which is really cool. And it's not even a necessity. You can still just do the one grade three in the back row getting the power and it's still really good. So. This deck seems really good overall. Um, I just feel like it's not competitive enough in terms of aggressiveness, but who knows? It's probably fine. So that was Magnolia. 
Going on to the grade two of the ride deck, we have Sylvan Horned Beast, Lattice. <laughs> Lettuce. Um, let's read it real quick. When this unit is ridden by Sylvan King Horned Beast, Magnolia, so let's one reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a unit, call it. If it is not, put it into your hand. That's really good. So it's just a free card <laughs> regardless. Uh, that's obviously the grade two ride. Um, back row, rear. When this attacks a Vanguard, so plus one, it gets 10k. So that's really good too. So I feel like people would want to run this in the main deck, even with the new support, but I'm not sure. Maybe people want to run like one or two because it's just, it is just power. So depends on what the rest of the support is, but that's that seems like a really good card. For the grade one, oh, this is so cute. Sylvan Horned Beast, Cheris. Uh, when it is ridden upon by Lattice, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a grade two or less, call it. If it isn't, put it in your hand. So you just get your grade three Magnolia. If it isn't, whoop. So if you basically get Magnolia in that top search and you get it in your hand, you're setting up for your Persona ride, which is really good. Uh, back row, rear. During the battle, it attacked. This gets 5k. That's like, eh, sure. I feel like there are better things that can be than just a simple 5k buff. But... It's, that's really good for a start deck. Um, yeah. And for the zero, we have Sylvan Horned Beast Lottie. Little little kitty cat. It's cute. So it seems like this one is very more great naturist aesthetic. So that's cool. Going on to the rest of the main deck. Uh, there are no other great threes. Wow. So... That's interesting. So the only grade three you could add to your hand is Magnolia. You're not going to be Persona writing anything else. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about that. This is a 10K vanilla. That's really useless. <laughs> like that artwork is sick though. Like that sword, dope. Bug in a suit, dope. Great artwork. The fact it is a vanilla, bad. Bad bushy. Make, make good skills for good art this is great art all right what else we got here this thing looks dope um it's a white tiger uh sylvan horned beast duger <laughs> duger <laughs> what is with these names they're just really funny uh if you have four or more of the units a regards just get 5k oh that's really basic so i don't know if people will actually run this but great art again bushy great art Basic skill. Uh, cool. What's next? It's a bug. Lady looking thing. No, those are flower. I don't know. There's something going on here. Um, act. Once returned, so I'm a blast. Counter blast. Until the end of the turn, this unit gets boost and 5k. Don't see the point since it's like your whole back row is supposed to be attacking anyways. So that's... It's definitely going away. Definitely don't think you need to run this. So upgrade that away as fast as possible. Next up, we got four copies of this dude. Knight of Friendship Cyrus. So they just took K's name. All right, then. Act. Once returned, Soul Blast 2 reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a unit, call it. If it isn't, put it in your hand. That's really good. For Soul Blast 2, though, it doesn't look like there's a lot of soul charging so far. So that's the one thing it looks like you got to look out for. But hey, free unit. It's like, look, boom, I get a card or card on my board or boom. Look at that. I get to add it to my hand if it's in order. I wonder what the order does, but we'll get to that in the end. Uh, PGs. So, oh, this is a really nice looking PG, actually. Uh, Hopeful Maiden Alejandra. It's cute. Uh, when this unit is placed on guard, discard, choose when units cannot be hit. So basic PG, you can. So get the newer PGs. Um, but if you're really on a budget, these are these are still good. So I'm glad that Bushy was still keeping up uh, putting PGs in the decks at full play sets. So we're on triggers. So we got our over trigger, which is Spiritual King of Determination Olbaria. So this one is the same one that comes in all the start decks. So they do the same thing. It's uh, the over trigger effect is you can only have one over trigger in a deck. When revealed as a trigger, you remove this. So if you damage check it, you don't take it as damage, you just remove it from the game. 
Um, you draw a card and you choose one of units gets a million power. And if it's revealed during a drive check, you get an additional effect. So when your Vanguard attacks and you check it, you get this, which is choose one of units and he gets a million power. So two units are going to be getting a million power if you do it as a drive check when your Vanguard attacks. So that's pretty cool. The Stoicaea one, I believe, just does all the trigger effects, but it's worded very poorly. So just know that if like you have the conditions for a heal, a crit, a front, and a draw, your over trigger goes off. So yeah. Um, triggers. This is a cutie. Sylvan Horn King Jackalope. Critical trigger. The draw, also cute. Um, Sylvan Horn Pull Ladder for draw. Three Monkey. Um, I don't know if you need the fronts because the Persona Ride. So I feel like crits are better, especially if you have back row swings. You don't put crits on maybe something in the back row. So yeah, get rid of the front fronts <laughs> when you can get some crits. And four heals. This is a really nice looking heal, little deer thing. Uh, tells you how heals work. So it's also nice that all the triggers in the start decks tell you how the trigger effects work. So if you're not sure, since there's no rule book to tell you what the triggers do, you can just read the little effects and that's will tell you how to use the trigger. All right, onto the order card. There's only two of it. It's interesting. Um, choose one of your units and it gets 5K until the end of that battle. If you have three more back row, it gets 15 instead. Oh, it's a blitz order. Huh. So you can play this during your opponent's turn and you can pick one of your units to get power until the end of the battle. So if you have three back row units and your opponent is attacking, you can just boop, my Vanguard gets 15k. Like that's that's really dope, actually. That's too bad you only get two. I feel like people would want to run this at four just because it's a it's like a defensive card. It's a really good card, and it's good, it's a good aggressive card too. And there seems to be a lot of support that says like if you reveal the top card and it's in order, you just put it in your hand. So I feel like free card in hand, and it's good as shield. I think without looking at any lists or knowing anything really about the Magnolia build competitively, this thing seems like it should be a four of, unless there's a better order that's in the booster set that I am not aware of. This is a great card. So I think you should pick up more copies of this, um, unless there's an order in that set that is better. This is This is really good. So, uh, as I do for all the videos, I like to set up the little artwork that Bushy was nice enough to make for us. So let's go back to the ride chain. One, two, and the three. Let's move these down here so those match up. Look how cute it is with all the little flowers and stuff. And then Magnolia's wings. Cool, look how nice that is. Isn't it nice? It's pretty. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, before I go, I want a quick shout out to Triple Sleep TCG for providing the box for today's unboxing video. You guys should definitely check out their website, especially if you wanna be upgrading your start decks to you know be able to play a complete full viability tournament setting. So well, you can go to Triple C TCG click on those playset bundles. I believe right now they're doing uh, pre-orders for the second booster set for D-Series. So you can just go in, pick uh, Stoicae as the nation you wanna do your split on, and then you'll get full play sets of everything you'll need in that set. So that way you just order that and you'll have all the new cards needed just to upgrade your deck. So you don't have to worry about buying boxes, pulling packs, you know, it's all the work is done for you and you just get all the new cards you need. So Definitely check that out and make sure to, you know, <laughs> uh, leave a comment, question, or if you have any concerns, leave that below as well. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.